He's not even a teenager yet, but Prince George already looks like he's ready to ascend to the throne. Right now, though, he's more concerned about his place in the sky rather than the line of succession. Back in 2015, Prince George absolutely stole the show at his baby sister Princess Charlotte's christening ceremony. He arrived in an adorable outfit nearly identical to one worn by his father decades prior. The get-up consisted of a hand-smocked cream-coloured shirt with red detailing along the chest and collar. The matching shorts came in a bright red colour and also featured tiny white buttons dotted around the waist for that extra detailed touch. Stealing the show just maybe a little boy born to be king. While not exactly the same as his father's version, George's ensemble was almost certainly chosen with that earlier red suit in mind. Prince William's get-up was also chosen for a similarly sentimental occasion, as he debuted it when he visited his baby brother, Prince Harry, for the first time back in September 1984. There are certain similarities between a father and a son that can be taught, but genetics can't be controlled, and those latter similarities are unmistakably apparent in the cases of Princes William and George. With his bright blonde hair and blue eyes, there's no denying that the little royal is growing up to the spitting image of his fair-haired dad. This physical likeness was especially obvious in 2015, when George was photographed travelling to the Lindo Wing of St Mary's Hospital in London to greet his mother and newborn baby sister. Father and son wore matching light blue sweaters for the occasion, with little George also donning matching pale blue socks. Snuggled up tight in his father's arms, the little royal may have been a bit confused by the cameras, but there's no denying that he was home sweet home in his dad's arms. With paparazzi following the royal's every move, the public was able to witness that even before Prince George turned five, he was already receiving an education fit for a royal. While he wasn't enrolled into the same primary school that his dad attended as a tot, they did sport nearly identical uniforms decades apart. When William was a young schoolboy, he was snapped posing alongside Prince Harry and his mother, Princess Diana, on his first day at Weatherby School. The future Prince of Wales was sporting a dark grey blazer, bright crimson tie and a matching grey and red hat with the school's crest. History repeated itself in 2017 when George was photographed alongside his father on his own first day of school. The four-year-old looked handsome for the camera in his dark navy jumper that also featured crimson details and the crest of his own primary school, Thomas's Battersea. Even a future king has school day nerves. Whenever a royal ventures out of their mansion gates, they can expect to be greeted with flashing camera bulbs and screaming fans. So Prince William and Princess Catherine have understandably been careful about how much they expose their children to the public. But now that their eldest is getting a little more mature, there's always a chance that he'll show up with his parents at public events. After all, this will all very much be a part of his daily life if he's to one day become the King of England. Thankfully, the little prince has proved that he's able to handle these interactions with poise and friendliness beyond his years. As children's clothing designer Amaya Arietta, who's been involved in dressing all three Wales children in the past, told Vanity Fair in 2023, I think George knows the drill by now. For Prince Harry's 2018 wedding to Meghan Markle, Prince George wore a miniature version of his dad's black military suit and jacket on the steps of the Windsor Castle Chapel. While he's obviously not old enough yet to enlist, he looked right at home in his crisp suit. Prince William's frock coat uniform, meanwhile, told the story of his military career. An emblem of wings symbolised his time flying in the Royal Air Force, while the ribbons attached to his suit jacket represented the Queen's Golden Jubilee and Diamond Jubilee. But perhaps the most prestigious adornments were the Garter Star, which he was afforded as a member of the Order of the Garter and shoulder straps that included Queen Elizabeth II's cipher. Although George's suit didn't feature any of these special adornments, that didn't prevent him from looking like the picture of royalty. His outfit featured a long-sleeved black tunic and black trousers fit with a bright, militaristic red stripe down the side. Choosing a high school or a secondary school is one of the most monumental decisions parents can make for their teenage children, and it seems that preparations have already begun to place Prince George at the most advantageous secondary institution possible. In the summer of 2023, photographers caught sight of him and Princess Charlotte visiting the prestigious boys' boarding school Eton College, where both his father and Prince Harry attended. The following January, an insider told the Daily Mail that George will most likely attend the school when the time comes, although his mother wasn't necessarily on board with that decision. Well, every generation kind of learns a little, don't they, of how to manage life as a royal. Attending Eton could be a way of honouring a tradition begun by George's late grandmother. When Princess Diana enrolled William into Eton in 1995, she was bucking a trend, as both Prince Charles and the late Prince Philip had attended a different boarding school in Scotland called Gordonston. The young Prince George has already flown around the world and back again. 
Just as the infant Prince William took his first overseas trip to Australia in 1983 when he was still in diapers, George was first fastened into his private jet booster seat in 2014. Like his father before him, Prince George's first overseas trip took place in Oceania, as his parents made their first stop in New Zealand with their eight-month-old son in tow. Over the course of three weeks, they travelled to major cities in both New Zealand and Australia. The trip was surely a nostalgic one for Prince William, who made headlines as an infant when he was ferried across New Zealand and Australia. Australia. When Princess Diana insisted on taking her firstborn along, it was a bold departure from royal tradition. In decades past, royal babies had always stayed behind while their parents travelled. Prince George is reportedly growing up to be quite the sports fan, and this hobby could prove to be a shared escape for him and his father from the harsh royal spotlight. During public engagements, William and Catherine have both talked about their eldest's love of sports. He's even reportedly taken up triathlon training at school, and Princess Catherine has spoken about how he's been learning the rules of rugby. Although George seems to be trying his hand at multiple athletic activities, it seems that soccer, or football as it's called in England, is his first love. While cheering on the English national team, at the Euro 2020 tournament, he was the spitting image of his dad as they wore matching navy blazers with red and white ties, the colours of the English flag. With two younger siblings trailing behind him at every engagement and an entire nation's eyes on him, Prince George already seems to be a leader in training. In fact, his body language consistently comes across as quite confident and self-assured. Body language expert Judy James even went so far as to tell The Express that she believes George is mimicking his father's mannerisms and facial expressions. It wouldn't be a surprise to learn that the young prince has modelled his public persona after his father, considering all their other similarities and the fact that he's one of the few people who can relate to the pressure Prince George must be feeling. Of course, the awkward transition into his teenage years is looming very closely, but the fact that Prince George might already be looking to his father for advice on how to deal with his unique position shows that he may very well be eager to eventually accept the mantle of Prince of Wales. More pressure is on Big Brother George as heir to the throne. Prince George has reportedly been a big fan of helicopters since he was at least four years old. He already has a storied history with air bases and aircraft, as he was first photographed exploring a helicopter in 2016 when his parents took him to the Royal Air Show in Fairford. The following year, William and Catherine arranged for a fleet of choppers to entertain their eldest while the family was travelling in Hamburg, Germany. During William's time in the armed forces, he worked for the Royal Air Force Search and Rescue Force as well as the East Anglian Air Ambulance. Considering that history, it only makes sense that Prince George might be dreaming of flying into the great blue beyond one day as well. His enthusiasm was clear enough during the 2023 Trooping the Colour. The royal family stood on the balcony of Buckingham Palace observing the festivities, and the young prince could be heard excitedly identifying the aircraft that flew overhead. Prince George has been living a lavish life from the moment he was born. With some of the wealthiest relatives in the UK, it's no surprise that he's frequently spoiled with incredibly expensive gifts. These have included a playhouse worth £18,000, as well as a miniature dark green model Aston Martin hand-me-down from his father. And although he's not old enough to drive yet, his uncle Prince Harry reportedly gave him a ride-on electric SUV back in 2017. When Prince George was just three years old, his father was asked by a member of the public about what presents the little boy would be receiving for his birthday, to which William replied, I'm not telling, he got too many things, he's far too spoiled. That's too much, man! Of course, as William also grew up with his own well-connected wealthy family members, he's no stranger to the charmed life. In fact, when he turned one in 1983, he was left with his nanny while Charles and Diana sailed the Canadian seas on their royal yacht Britannia. While George's immediate family seems to be more close-knit, the level of privilege appears to have stayed the same. Despite growing up in the 21st century, it seems that Prince George is retaining an old-fashioned British love of Queen and Country. During the 2022 Platinum Jubilee, he and his siblings were spotted bowing their heads to the national anthem at the arrival of the Horse Guards Parade. The moment was made even more poignant by the fact that it was their first ever carriage procession as part of the special Platinum Jubilee season. George was also spotted singing his heart out to the national anthem as England faced off against Wales during a rugby match at Twickenham in 2022. With his father by his side, he sang every word to God Save the Queen, demonstrating that he's being raised as a proud Englishman just like William. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, Prince William taught his eldest son a very important lesson about giving back. 
Over the course of nine weeks in 2020, the Clap for Our Carers campaign took across England. With strict lockdowns in place all over the country, this event saw millions of people standing at their windows and outside their front doors putting their hands together in honour of the country's healthcare workers. In a significant show of solidarity, Prince William, Princess Catherine and their children joined in by gathering outside Anne Mahal, their country estate in Norfolk, to clap for all the frontline workers. The family of five dressed in matching shades of blue, the signature hue of the National Health Service. Prince George and his siblings are clearly in good hands when it comes to having role models for moral behaviour, as this was just one small show of gratitude in a long list of charity outreach efforts that Prince William partakes in on an annual basis.